Hello everybody and welcome back. Uh, this week we're going to be taking a look at the progress with the Kulturis port that's in uh, southern Kalimdor. So we have the uh, the coastline that uh, I built last time. Uh, only this time you can see I, I'm adding vegetation, some uh, details with these uh, ships. As well as other elements sort of like refining what I want to get to, to the final um, stage of this. Uh, it's what I did uh, basically on this round is I added the vegetation, I changed the topography, I made sure that I retraced the, the uh, paths inside the, the town and have something that makes a bit more sense. Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the town and we're actually going to take a look and see how it's, how it's looking, uh, current state. And um, I'll start thinking of some of these ideas of certain things that I need to change. So one of the things that you can notice is that the path is now a bit more defined. It's, uh, it's, I don't know exactly what my position is on how, on how this is currently looking. Um, but I think, uh, I think it's fine. I think it's, it's coming along. You can see the, uh, the, the, the railings, the, uh, I brought in the the, the lanterns, the uh, masts, uh, all of the other elements that we're using for the island version. Um, and then just some refinement. Obviously you can see here that uh, terrain-wise placement of this is not, uh, is not there yet. So that's something that I'll either have to make a decision whether I want it straight or where I, whether I want it a little bit more crooked so these things will not be aligned uh, so well. So that's something that I have to test out and see if, uh, how that's going to look. Um, over here, obviously, we're going to have some horses. And here there's supposed to be a, a, a garden of sorts. I'm not 100% sure if uh, if I'm gonna go ahead and do that but it does make uh, a certain degree of sense it's gonna be like a prosperous um, port town and uh, it, it needs to have that uh, flavor that we're going for um, so that's uh, that's that part of the city the um, the the church the plaza is still very rough all of this area um, behind the uh, the actual fort and the fort itself is is not what I've really touched upon what uh, I've been doing on, uh, what I've been working on right now is um, uh, mainly like reshaping um, the land, uh, mapping out a bit of what I want the actual town to be. So um, it's coming along. I think that I'm going to be changing some of these paths, and I think I'm going to potentially. What else? Um, I think that's what I want to work on for the time being. I want to make sure that I actually got the 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 final uh, topography of this uh, area before I actually start laying in more details because I think that's um, important. And I need to figure out exactly um, some of like the minor styling uh, for the zone in terms of the terrain. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to jump onto Nugget and I'm going to start uh, editing some of this. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to come back and we're going to jump into the game and uh, get to see that as well. All right, let's do this. All right, and so we are now in Nugget. And what are the things that I want to do right now? Well, one of the things that I might want to do is just begin to work slightly um, improving the, the, the shoreline and just having enough of... Um, of a lead-in in terms of like the vanishing of, of sand. There's obviously going to be other elements that I'm going to uh, put into the shoreline in order to uh, uh, break it up quite a bit. Um, that will probably include some rocks and um, some other guff gubbins, but for the time being, just having a, 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 a clear uh path should i say or, or or a clear line of what i want to do with the area and uh some of the changes that uh that that i'd like to to take effect so one of the things that that includes is i want this back area to be mostly populated with uh with uh, trees and, and palm trees and vegetation uh, because it's kind of, I mean, it will be accessible to uh, people from inside 
uh, the town by looking at, for example, like the um, the gate here that we'll have to like design. So there will be some of that uh, in play, but it's also more importantly part of sort of the backdrop uh, of the town, and we, we want to make sure that that all kind of like obeys uh, a particular logic. So we don't want to betray that. And by that, what I mean is if specifically when we're back at the game. We're not really meant to see these back cliffs uh, from the, uh, the the game's perspective. There's nothing here really, so anyone who would have who would swim this far down would just treat themselves to these uh, cliffs, which are not very interesting. So that's one of the things that I'm uh, that I'm going to be doing. Uh, hopefully, right now is sort of reshaping some of this and uh, potentially creating the environment for a lush, uh, sort of like tropical background. So, we're going to go ahead and uh, do that right now. So that's what I want to do right now in terms of progress. I'm not going to finish it up uh, exactly. I want uh, maybe the next video I'm just going to come in and keep working on this, come back to the next video uh, about this area and just show you about the progress. There's a couple of things that I've been doing or that I've been thinking about as I progress. So obviously I need to match this a little bit more here. I've been thinking that maybe we will want um, maybe some 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 waterfalls coming out of the uh, out of the stone. Not entirely sure. There is um, some future work uh, for this area here, which I believe I'm going to make into Oldham. Um, so there's a moving of, of doors and portals that I want to do, and I want to make sure that I do that correctly, because, um, we'll see, we'll see, because as you can see, the current, uh, portal is, is here, or entrance is here, which really just sort of opens up to the, uh, uh the back end of the port, and, um, there's plenty of space on this other side here to actually build, Oldham and bring down some of these things and make this all into uh, sand. So I think, and that makes kind of sense. So we're, we'll have to, I'll have to rethink about a little bit about this plateau and what that's uh, going to be. Um, waterfalls and lush sort of like jungle details, maybe uh, a, a logging uh, camp or a campment here, which will uh, allow for like the building of ships and repairs of ships, just like we have here. Um, so that will look uh, pretty good, I think. But for the time being, we're going to leave it at that. And I will see you all uh, next time. Um, this video should be coming out uh, on December 25th, Christmas, or it might be set for December 24th, Christmas Eve. So uh, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays uh, to all of you. Um, regardless of what it is that you're celebrating. I'm going to be out and away because I'll be, um, even though we're still dealing with COVID, there's um, some small family gatherings permitted, and, and so I'm going to be doing that. So I'm going to be off uh, for a couple of days, but I'll probably leave uh, some other videos to tide you over until then. So uh, that'll be it for now. So uh, happy holidays, everybody, and till next time. 
bye bye